Let's look at HSC Profit Forecast, the quickest way to automate case profit estimations. Traditionally, predicting case profitability has been a time-consuming, complicated task in Excel. However, our automation simplifies this process, saving your team valuable time. With HSD Profit Forecast, you can easily boost your center's profitability by understanding the predicted profit margins for each case as soon as it's scheduled, allowing your facility to take a proactive approach to managing case profitability. To consider this from another perspective, imagine your leadership as mountain climbers and HSD Profit Forecast as their guide, offering detailed information for a safe climb. The guide highlights dangerous slopes, unprofitable cases, advising when to bypass or tackle them with strategies like cost-saving measures, ensuring, in a sense, financial success. Now that we have seen how your center can be guided by HST Profit Forecast, let's jump into how it can improve your center's profit margin and see how it all works. You can see we list out some case details that you can immediately view and scan. We have scheduled date, time, and duration info, followed by physicians, then procedures and payers. And in this column here, this is where the case flag alerts will display. So if you hover over a case flag, it will tell you which configuration set it up. So here, this case is being flagged because of the profit margin settings that I had configured. So because it fell below a certain percentage that I had indicated, it now is automatically flagged. The second to last column is the case profit forecast. It has the gauge which also changes call, its, its color is based on the profit margin percentage forecasted, along with the dollar value of the estimated case profit. And lastly, we have the implant toggle. So this button here is where you would mark a case as needing implant or not. Clicking on the toggle will one, mark the case as having an implant, and two, add the implant cost line item to the profit forecast breakdown. So to show you an example, and I'll go over the detail panel in just a bit, because this implant has been marked on this case, I have this implant line item under the cost section. And in this example here, where the implant toggle has not been marked, you can see that there is no implant cost under the cost breakdown section. And next, we will move on to the uh, case overview. To see a detailed breakdown of any case's profitability and other information, you simply click on a case. This will then show the overview panel. This overview panel is comprised of three main sections. We have profit analysis, case details, and implants. Under the profit analysis tab, you will see the main forecast card. This forecast card will display information such as the profit margin engaged, the profit forecast dollar amount, along with a total revenue and total cost for this case. Below this card, you will see a bar graph breakdown of the case's revenue, costs, and profit, as well as line item section for each of those bar graphs. Please note for the revenue and profit bar graph and line item breakdown, we display both historical payments and payer contracts if the center utilizes a PM system such as HSC Practice Management that has available that information. Next, under the Case Details tab, you will see information about the case. Information such as specific case details, and payer information. And lastly, under the implants tab, you will have access to our request estimate feature. This feature allows you to send any vendor that is affiliated with your center a text link that will allow them to provide an implant cost estimate based on the procedure type and the implants needed. That estimate will then be used in the cost breakdown as the implement implant cost, which will give you a more accurate profit estimate. And I will demonstrate now how to add a request. So by clicking on the add request button, I would then be presented with this model, which would then give me the ability to select from my list of vendors. And from there, I can leave a comment. And here I have the option to mark if the rep is needed on site for the implant request or not. And then lastly, I can then hit create. And once I hit create, an estimate will then be sent and a text link will then be sent to the vendor to provide that estimate. To access the settings page, simply click on your user avatar located in the top right corner of the page. Please note, if you are affiliated with multiple centers, you will be able to configure these settings separately for each center. Now click on the center you would like to configure. This will then navigate you to the settings page. 
Please note, while on the settings page, you will be able to change the location which you are configuring at any time. There are currently two configurable sections for HST profit forecasts, costs and order flags. Let's start with the cost section. So here, we can start to configure your center's estimated costs for various sections such as staffing, overhead, supplies, other costs, also known as flat costs, and implant costs, which would be included only for cases that require implants. To edit and change these amounts, simply click on the edit button located in the bottom right of each group to enable the fields. Once you've made your updates, click save to complete the process. Please note, updating costs will only reflect on cases whose scheduled date have not yet passed, so only current date cases and forward will have any newly updated costs reflect if changes are made. Next, we'll visit the auto flag section. So here we can configure which cases you would like to have flagged if it meets the criteria. HSC Profit Forecast allows you to flag for such criteria as when a case's revenue minus its implants falls below a certain dollar value. You may also flag a case when the implant cost exceeds a certain percentage value, as well as when a case's profit margin falls below a certain percentage. And lastly, you may also flag cases based on the payer type. For example, if you set a flag for the payer type of, let's say, Blue Cross Blue Shield, Anytime that payer is listed as the payer for the procedure, the case will automatically flag it for you to review. Also, please note, in the payer flag section, we also give users the ability to set implant terms for each payer type. So there are three options available to choose between four payer terms. You can select and apply either full, partial, or none as the reimbursement type. So this concludes our walkthrough portion for the settings page. Now that we have your settings configured, let's navigate to the case list to see how some of these settings get applied and displayed. To get back to the case list screen, you can click either the home link or the HST profit forecast to redirect you back to the home page. So this is your case list page. It is also the default landing page when you first log into HST profit forecast. For the case container, you have the option to filter, search, and also modify your views. To apply filters, click on the filters button located to the left of the search bar. This will then open up the filters panel, which you will then see various options to filter for. So in this panel, you have five options that you can filter between. You can select to see only specific locations of a case, a certain date range, which positions you cases you would like to see, here you can select if a case is flagged or if a case has implants. And lastly, you can select and filter for cases based on their profit margins. So next I will walk you through the search capabilities for HC Profit Forecast. So to search a case, you can just type ahead to sort out for certain cases. So here I am going to type out the word surgical. And as I type out the word surgical, it would then start to sort out and identify only cases with the term surgical in it. And then lastly, in the third section, this is how you can modify the way you go about viewing your case, your cases. So you have the ability to either view them in this comfortable format here, or if you would like to expand them, you can easily do that by toggling between these two pills. This concludes our walkthrough. We look forward to helping you better forecast your center's case profitabilities. Thank you.